Figures.com for all of your wireless needs. Drop your phone, need a new one, go to Figures.com. You think your bill is too high? Go to Figures.com. And at checkout, what are you going to do? At checkout, for an additional discount, you're going to put in credit score. as one word for an additional discount at Figures.com. www.figures.com. F-I-G-G-E-R-S. <laughs> To the 800 credit score man show i am your host kevin king he is i and i am him the 800 credit score man himself and once again thank each and every one of you for coming in and listening to the 800 credit score man show i truly truly appreciate it now what are we going to get into today today we're going to do a little bit of piggybacking if you will we're going to do some bonus coverage we're going to do some extra credit if you will coming off that series of the five pillars of credit yes i just went through five weeks of what makes up your credit score how is it calculated and then of course hopefully i gave you some information that'll allow you to learn how to manipulate those different pillars in your best interest right so we just went through that i'm going to give you some other things because of course Those are not the only things that impact your score. Those are the main things that they're looking at. But unfortunately, oftentimes we have other things on our credit reports that may be holding our scores back. So there are other things on that report, most of them negative, that we're going to talk about. So we're going to talk about them today, see if we can tell you how to avoid them, how to get rid of some of those things. That's what we're going to discuss today on the 800 Credit Score Man Show. Now, again, five pillars of credit. If you did not listen to that series, Go back and listen to each and every one of them. You got a half an hour each day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Finish it by Friday if you did not listen to it. And you can get it anywhere. Verbal, we are just added to verbal. But if you don't have verbal, of course, you can use iTunes. You can use Spotify. You can use iHeartRadio. I have my own app if you've got an iPhone. Just look up 800 Credit Score Man. There's absolutely no excuse at all. And if you don't have any of those, you can always go to YouTube. So if you're listening to me at all, you can go to YouTube and you can listen to the 800 Credit Score Man Show. Go check the Five Pillars of Credit, a powerful, powerful series when it comes to your credit. Check those out. All right. And since it's called Five Pillars of Credit, you want to go ahead and you want to get my ebook, Five Pillars of Credit, for the low, low. For $2.99, you can get my ebook, Five Pillars of Credit, to increase your knowledge, right? Increase your knowledge of this because knowledge is power. Knowledge is absolutely power. But I do say this, having that knowledge is great. But if you don't implement it, if you don't do something about it, if you don't use it, then you might as well just not have the knowledge in the first place. So knowledge is power. I'm trying to give it to you so you can increase those credit scores. Increasing those credit scores lowers the interest rates that you pay. And that saves you money. But if that's not the only thing, so it's not just for buying stuff. You got a better credit score, then you have a better insurance rate when it comes to your home insurance or even your auto insurance. That's just one thing, right? If you are going, I just talked about figures at the top of the show, right? If you're going to get a phone, if you got bad credit, you might have to put down a deposit, right? Then if you got good credit, then you can keep that money in your pocket. I don't care if it's $250 or it's $2,500. You can keep that money in your pocket. Same thing you decide to move utilities you might have to pay a deposit if you've got bad credit you've had some issues right the better your credit the less money you got to come out of your pocket and you can save it for whatever you want to rainy day fund vacation whenever covid is over you can blow it on a birkin bag whatever it is you can do it if you have a better credit score so that's what you're here for to talk about credit scores and we're going to do that today i'm going to tell you some of the things that might be impeding your credit score with this bonus coverage that we're doing off the five pillars of credit. Now, before I get started with all that, I got to give a big shout out to the ladies of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority. They celebrated their Founders Day the other day, the pretty girls that wear 20 pearls. So I want to say happy Founders Day to you. Today, today, yes, today is the ladies in the blue and white. They are celebrating their Founders Day of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority. So uh, I want to say happy Founders Day to you guys as well, as well, the um, ladies that do it right in the blue and white. And so let me give these shout outs to my little cousin, who ain't so little no more, but Kaya King. She celebrates her birthday. So happy birthday to you, Kaya. My other cousin, Kyla, not to be 
confused with Kaya, but Kyla King celebrates her birthday as well. Happy birthday to you. Michelle Wainwright, big supporter of the show, celebrates her birthday. Um, she just had a Founders Day with Delta Sigma Theta sorority herself. Happy birthday to you just coming up. Clarence Wells, one of my frat brothers, he's celebrating a birthday. Um, Byron Swain, another one of my frat brothers, celebrates his birthday. Happy birthday to both of you guys. Um, cousin, Brenda Wilson. Happy, happy birthday to you, um, Brenda, my other cousin, Aaron Swain. He celebrates his birthday as well, so happy birthday to you, Aaron. Aaron Swain, not Swain. I got Byron and Aaron all mixed up. And my boy, Keith Robinson. Happy birthday to you, Keith Robinson. And I cannot forget Twan Harris. She celebrated her birthday as well. Happy birthday to each and every one of you guys. Now, people are going to hate y'all because I had a whole bunch of shout-outs, and they hate the shout-outs sometimes. When I get comments... People, I was like, I oh, mean, I love his content, but I hate the shout outs. Too bad. Too bad. A lot of shout outs today. Um, skip through them if you don't like them. All right, let's go to this bonus coverage that we're talking about today off of the five pillars of credit. So now that you know about how your credit score is calculated and you know the weighting of each one of them, what's important for you and all of those things, are those five pillars of credit the only things that impact your score? Unfortunately, no, they are not. You get into other items you know that are on your credit reports that hurt and they decrease your score so today we're going to talk about these things unfortunately it's better for us now than it has been in the past and this and i'm not talking about in the long long past 10 20 years ago i'm talking about just a few years ago there have been some extremely extremely positive things that have come out of legislation and then, frankly, you know, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian getting together saying, hey, we need to make some changes for, for people to um, help them when it, comes to their, when it comes to their credit. That's how important your credit is. Like, there are, there's actual legislation around your credit score, right? So it's very important. So we have had some, some really good things from, um, to come, come about um, through legislation and through the credit bureaus getting together. And putting their hairs together. Um, a few years ago, one of these things, if you owe the IRS a few years ago, they would place a lien, right? You would get a lien. You would basically get a collection, and that would be on your credit report. Now, any kind of collection, charge off, lien, judgment, whatever that came on your credit report, it would lower your credit score. But now, but now, if you get a lien from the IRS, you owe them money. Nobody knows it but you and the IRS. At least it's not on your credit report. So that's a good thing for you. It didn't lower your credit score. When you went to apply for that next car loan or that mortgage, they didn't see it on your credit report. So that therefore it didn't hurt you when it came to being approved or denied, right? So you had those uh, things that would happen. So that's a good thing for you. It doesn't hurt your credit score anymore. If you owe state taxes as well. State taxes used to be on your credit report. So, no, they are no longer on your credit report. And I'll tell you this. If you see something from the IRS or you see something from your state on your credit report, you need to file a dispute. File a dispute on them. They are no longer allowed on your credit report. I don't care if you owe them $200 or you owe them $20,000. It's not allowed on your credit report anymore. And if you got trouble, you got issues with any of that, then you're going to hit me up. Send me an email, 800 at creditscoreman.com, 800 at creditscoreman.com. Send me that email and and let me know what you, what's, what's going on with your um, with that particular lien or what's happening with the IRS or with the state um, as well. Uh, if your landlord sued you back in the day, if your landlord sued you, you owed, now you owe whoever it is, ABC company, or if you had a big complex that you went and they sued you, you got a judgment against you because they say you owed money because you left the apartment in the wreck, you ran out on the rent, whatever it is, and they sued you. That's a judgment. Those judgments are no longer on your credit report. So these are the good things that I'm telling you that came out of legislation and you know, TransUnion, Equifax, Experian getting together and saying, hey, how can we improve how can we improve this credit system in itself? So those judgments are no longer on your credit report. And I will take a chance to pause right right quick now, too. And so since you don't see and they don't judge you, have those judgments, at least from landlords specifically, on your credit report anymore, now that's why they are sending them to collections. 
So you'll see something often about, you know, XYZ apartment complex and you own 2500 bucks on your credit report. But that's because they're now sending them to collections versus going to court, proving in court that you actually owe them, that they sent you whatever paperwork they need to send you, and you did not respond and or pay. So those things would be a judgment. Those things would typically hurt you from getting another apartment somewhere because it's going to lower your credit score. Now they do those things through collections and collection agencies. So that doesn't mean you got out of all of it together. However, that's why you see it as a collection because I know some of you are saying right now in your head, you're saying, well, wait a minute. I got a um, judgment from XYZ apartment complex on my credit report. I have something on my credit report about that. Well, it's not a judgment. It's a collection. And that's why it's in the collections area uh, for that. So these are some of the things that have come out of, you know, new legislation over the last couple of years. So there are only a few things now that can be added to your credit report to kill it. There's only a few things now, you know, now that they've taken off the, you know, the, the tax liens and all that stuff we just talked about. There's only a, f a few things. But losing 40 to 100 points is absolutely a killer. That can actually kill your credit report. I don't care if you have a 700 credit score. You got a 700 score, dropping that many points is bananas. And it is going to hurt you um, detrimentally for real. So um, there's only a few things now. So we got collections. Right. We just talked about that and, and those things. So you got collections that will help you. You got medical collections and they're broken down into kind of different types, kind of different types. So you got medical and then you have what we're going to call regular collections. A regular collection is going to be uh, a cell phone company you owe, uh, an apartment complex like we just mentioned, um, those kinds of things. Those are regular collections, um, even if you owe because there is a particular insurance company and this is like for your auto insurance that is if you don't pay that premium they're starting to place that on collections that's a regular collection if you will for the purposes of our show right and then medical when i say medical it's anything dealing with medical you owe your doctor you owe um, a facility whether it's like an urgent care or an actual hospital or what have you you owe those people even dentists you owe them and they place a collection on your credit report um, that is medical in nature so that's what we're talking about when we come to um, to medical um, so and the reason I bring that up because someone did have a collection from let's call it a medical supply place so they had to get supplies um, from a medical supply place that was not medical in nature in, in terms of how the system works that was not necessarily medical in nature um, because they owed these people some money and they wind up putting it on their credit report. So that one shows up with XYZ Medical Company or what have you, or a medical supply company. But the way it's treated, it's treated like a regular company. It's treated like a cell phone bill. It's treated like a utility bill versus being medical in nature. So I just wanted to clarify that for somebody. Somebody out there got the same issue. All right, so you have those things. And then, of course, you know, things like late payments on your credit report and bankruptcies and all that kind of stuff. So those are the things that we're going to talk about a little more in detail today on the show. All right, so let's just get back to this whole collections portion then. Because usually the biggest thing that comes up and hurts people credit scores. Yes, you get a collection, it can drop your score 40, 50, 60, 100 points if you get a collection added to your to your credit credit report now why is that and why is it so different i agree with you if you're thinking hey if it's a certain amount if it's zero to two hundred dollars that collection they should only drop me about you know 10 points or something if it's a small or maybe they if it's a higher collection it's four thousand five maybe i should get 50 points taken off my credit report uh, I, I agree with you if you think that they are not all created equal and crazily unfortunately the higher your credit score the more points you get off you get taken off of your credit report the more points you lose when you get a collection added to your to your um, credit report so that's just the way it happens to be now perhaps one day in the future they will make it more standard it's just not and I think personally, the reason it's not standard because they don't want to throw a little chaos in the system. I want to make everybody scramble and do what they need to do to prove that they are credit worthy, 
to prove their credit worthiness, to prove that they are responsible and to get a good credit score. Okay, so the collections that come around. They